Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord once again. Hallelujah. Too, we thank and praise God for how he has blessed us throughout this crisis. And we just want to give God praise and glory. But amen. For God needs to be praised and he needs to be glorified. Amen. Because he said if we do this, we'll contact him here, hear us, and deliver us from all our problems. And truly today, this world is in a terrible situation. But yet I know God is able to do just what he said he was saying. Yes, man, today as we man, come before the Lord today, we just want to thank him for another opportunity to praise and to glorify his name. Man, today, if you will, if you turn with us, we're not going to be before you long, but briefly, to two passages of scriptures. Man, one from the book of James, James chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. And St. John chapter 15 and verse 7. Amen. James 5, 14 through 16. And St. John chapter 15, verse 7. For it read on this wise. If any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. Amen. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick yes. and the Lord shall raise him up Thank you, Lord God. and if he have committed sin they shall be, forgive him and also in the gospel according to St. John chapter 15 in verse number 7 hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. amen for the word of God read if you abide in me yes. and my word abide in you yes. Ye shall ask what ye will, you, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. After reading those two passages of scripture today, I'd like to use for a subject, ask God for what you need. Amen. Ask God for what you need. So many times we're asking other people yes. and putting God last on our list. Yes. But today we want to put him first. Amen. Because I believe if you ask God, you won't have to ask nobody else. And truly, he's a prayer answering God. Yes, Amen. But when I begin, praise God, to look at this thing, even before, praise God, sin entered the world. It was a perfect place. Yes, Amen. That was a long time ago. Like I said, when there was no sickness or disease Amen. on earth. Yes. Can you believe that? At one point, there was no sickness or disease. The truth of the matter is sickness and disease are a result of sin. Yes, it is. So before Adam and Eve, a man disobeyed the commandment that God had gave them. Everything was perfect. Amen. Perfect world or perfect people. Yes. But after Adam and Eve broke the commandments which God told them not to eat of the tree yes. in the midst of the garden. They had perfect health. But after that, sin entered into the heart of man. Yes, it and ever since Adam and Eve sinned, Jesus. sin been in the land. Lord Jesus. Amen. Even in the midst of sin, God so loved us. Hallelujah. Amen. For the word of God said, we all have sinned and came short yes. of the glory of God. And he said also, while amen, we were yet sinners, yes. he died for us. But not only that, praise God, but if we look at it, uh, amen, when God, amen, looked at his son, he said, for God so loved the world Hallelujah. that he gave his only begotten son, yes. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. So even, amen, after man has sinned, and after man had done, amen, this terrible thing in the sight of God, God still, amen, bless him and he still cared for him and he still loved him because God is love. Man, but today we deal with a man with another situation. A situation where family used to not come and pray together. A man, they had gotten to the point that you do your thing and I'm going to do mine. 
Amen. Even when we came together to eat dinner and lunch, amen, some would be in the living room, some would be in the den, some would be in the bedroom, but it wasn't any family that was coming together, sitting and talking, amen, and discussing, amen, discussing the situation of the world today. But I'm glad to know that I serve a God. Even in the midst of all the crisis, he's still able to bless and he's still able to strengthen me. Amen. You might say then, why so much stuff going on? Amen. The reason it's going on, because of sin. Amen. I heard the devil say, I come to steal, kill, and to destroy. But there was another voice echoing in the back. That's how I came. That you might have have a life and have it more abundantly. God meant for us to have a wonderful life. He meant for us to have a good life. But because of sin, it messed up the whole universe. But I'm glad to know that I serve a God that is able to forgive me of all my problems. Forgive me of all my shortcomings. Forgive me for all of the wrong that I've done. You, Truly, I serve a God that, amen, don't look back at what I've done. Oh. Amen. But he blesses me because I learned how to call upon his name. Oh. And people of God, families of God, Man, you might not be able to come to church, amen. You might not be able, amen, to gather, amen, to gather. But this is a time for you to have an intimate relationship with God. This is a time where you, amen, can get yourself together with God. This is a time that mom and dad and children can come together and pray as a family. They can come close to knitted together as a family. And to become close to God. Amen. This is a time that you should find your little secret place and call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know some of you are used to coming together and a big crowd of people coming together. 100, 200 people together. Amen. Waiting for somebody else to start the prayer. Waiting for somebody else to start a song. But this is your time now. This is the time that you got to step up and give God your all in all. This is a time, praise God, when you can't depend on somebody else, but you got to depend on yourself. Hallelujah. And your strength that you have with God. Hallelujah. People of God, it's time for us. Amen. Stop looking at one another. Time for us to stop criticizing one another. And it's time for us to come together and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is waiting for you to open up your mouth and give him a praise. Not to complain. Not to talk about the situation of the crisis that we're going through. But to lift up your voice to God and thank God. Hallelujah. For what is going on. And give him praise. For he said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. And just like I read the scripture in my beginning, God said, He abide in me, and I abide in Him. Whatever we ask in His name, that He will do. But we got to remember, ever since the book of Genesis, disease and sin have corrupted the world, plagues and all kinds of things. And I begin to go down. And look at a list of the things that are going on and the sickness that's going on. I can start in the book of Exodus, round about the ninth chapter, in the eighth verse, where the plague of boils came upon the people, had boils all over. Hallelujah. But even if I leave Exodus and I go to Leviticus, chapter 13 and 18, I can see they talk about the boils and leprosy. Amen. Telling that leprosy was a bad disease. But yet we must understand Satan came to kill, steal and to destroy. But I'm not looking at 
at what he came to do. I'm looking at what God can do. Because everything he put out here, God can fix it. All types of diseases. And I just want to go down through and just name a few to let you know what we're going through now. Amen. People have been through. Amen. Same situations. I heard the writer in Isaiah 35 and 6. Matthew 9, 33 and Mark 9, 25. It talks about the deaf, dumb, and mute and the blind. Let you know even in the beginning of time God was still dealing with these situations. Even he dealt with amen, epilepsy and seizures. Back in the gospel of Matthew 4, 24 and 17, 14 and 15. It tells us how he dealt with this. And not only that but he dealt with fever. For I heard Job and Job 30 and 30 and talked about the burning of the fever. And Mark 1 and 30. Acts 28 and 8 and talked about the fever. But not only that he also had folks that were lame couldn't walk that were lame from the birth I heard the writer in 2 Samuel chapter 4 and verse 4 where there was a king's son that had a son by the name of a people chair amen he was running for his life and the nurse dropped him amen and made him lame amen in his feet and in his legs but I heard the writer picked it up in the New Testament and it talked about a man that laid at the gate which was called beautiful laid and every time folk would come back he would ask them for arms but one day amen John and the apostle of God walked by and he asked for arms and he told him silver gold that I don't have but such as I have Take up your bed and walk. God got power just in his voice. Power just in his word. Because if you can't believe, you can receive what God has for you. But I heard in 2 Chronicles 26 and 19, they're talking about leprosy again. And when you had leprosy, you was unclean. They put you out of the city. They separate you from each other. Just as this virus we have now is separate us. Cause us to be distant from one another. Hallelujah. That it won't transfer from one to the other. But if you serve in God and walking in the will and the way of God, God going to bless you. Just keep your head up high. Amen. Keep, amen, your voice shouting to the, amen, power and glory of God. And God will bless you. But I just got a few more, just a few more sickness to talk about. That's here upon the earth that God has dealing with. Even before you were born into the world, God dealt with some of these, amen, type of illnesses. There was one called paralysis. Hallelujah. Amen. All kinds of palsy. All kinds of things. People was unable to move. Only could move by the help of somebody else. But yet God had power to speak to the situation. And the situation flee. Amen. I heard in 2 Kings. Amen. Chapter 4. Verse 18 and 19. It talked about a sunstroke. Amen. You heard of people get to heart and having sunstroke but God have power amen to fix it for in Isaiah 49 and 10 it talked about the sunstroke but I came to let you know hallelujah that in the book of James 5 and 16 it said the effectual affirmative prayer of a righteous man a very much is there anybody in the house today that know God and living a righteous life. So if somebody 
ask you the question, can you pray for me? And you can pray for deliverance for them saints of God. It's time for us to get close to God. Time for us to forget about what people done. Amen to us. And lift up our voice to God. Come close. Let each other know that we love them. Let everybody know that we are caring. But these are loving days and caring days. Dealing with the crisis that we're dealing with today. I want you to know it's the first time you ever seen them. But even before you came into existence upon this earth, before you was formed in the belly of your mother, God has already been through. God has already healed all kinds of diseases. And he said, if you just abide in me, and I'm in you, then wherever you ask, then I will do. It's time for us to come together and abide in God. Amen. And worship and give God the praise that he deserves. And we want, hallelujah, this crisis, this fire, amen, to blow over. We got to come together and give God praise. Families, you got to get together and call on the name of the Lord. Preachers, you got to get together and call on the name of the Lord. For they are one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. We're not serving five or six gods. We're serving one God. So I don't care what you are, what denomination you might be. We serve the same God. And it's time for us to come together and to glorify and magnify the name of the Lord. People, we have wasted too much time. Hallelujah. We have wasted too much time. Hallelujah. Now we got to get together and cry loud. Amen. Unto the Lord that he will hear our prayer. I believe in the book of 1 Peter. Amen. The word of God declared. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayers. So amen. The Lord God is just telling you. Amen. I got everything you need. All you got to do is call and ask me for it. And amen. I will bring deliverance to you. So whatever you need, God is telling you today. Amen. The masses ain't going to do it, y'all. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Staying away from each other ain't going to do it. You got to call on the name of the Lord. And he can fix it. He can stop it right now. All God has to do is just so that Corona's virus cease. And it got to stop. Because everything got to listen to the voice of God. Hallelujah. I praise the name of God. I'm glad that I know who he is. I'm glad, amen, that I know enough about God that if I go to him in prayer if I go to him in secret or whatever way I come to him that God will give ear to my prayer David said on one occasion as we look in the book of Psalms I believe it was around Psalm 34 amen David said he remember a poor man cried and the Lord heard him and he delivered him from all his trouble people of God is crying time it's time for us to lift up our voice and pray a sincere prayer that God will not only keep our families but he will keep the whole universe he will keep the whole world he will keep those in the white house he'll keep those in the amen just the brick house amen whatever house that he'll keep us together praise God God is trying to get his folks together because we've been spreading out so long we've been separated so long you do your thing and I'll do mine when all God wanted was his people to come together because even if we go back hallelujah to the day of Pentecost hallelujah praise the name of God there was all kinds of people there from every part of the earth 
Israel. But God didn't discriminate when he came and began to pour out his spirit. He poured out his spirit upon all flesh. It didn't make no difference where you was from. God gave you his spirit. And hallelujah, he meant for us not to separate ourselves, but to come together and give him glory and give him honor. We have become separated. I got my crowd over here. I got my some folks over here. I can't talk to you. You ain't saved enough for me. Hallelujah. But it ain't about you. It's all about God. Hallelujah. It doesn't make any difference what you've done in your life. God is able to forgive you for it. Hallelujah. But it's time for us to come together and glorify God. I know it seems strange that you're not in the church. I know it seems strange that you're not near your best friend or your prayer partner. But God wants you, amen, to focus on him. God wants you to talk to him. God wants you to have a relationship with him. Not so much with other folk, but have a relationship with him that he can get to know you and you can get to know God. And today a lot of us still don't know that God is a savior, that God is a healer, that God is a way maker, hallelujah, that God is a refuge in the time of trouble. People of God, lift up your eyes, amen, to the Lord and give God the just praise that he deserves because he brought you out of the muck and the mire and he placed your foot on a solid foundation. That's why you ought to open up your mouth and give God praise. Don't get mad and upset with God because of what's happening in the world today. But give God more praise. Lift God up higher. I heard him say, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw me. People of God, time for us to come together. Lay aside our differences. Lay aside our belief and call on the name of the Lord. It's time for us to stop sucking and jiving and be about our father's village. I came today to tell you if you lift Jesus up, if you give God the just praise, God will make a way. God will heal the land. If my people sometimes God got to give to his people. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray Seek my faith. Turn from your wicked way. See, some folks still ain't turned. Some folks still ain't called on the name of God. But before the end of time, everybody gonna call on his name. He said, if you call on me, I heal the land. Since all we got to do is get together and pray. God said, I will. I will. I will heal the land. Are you calling on it? You ought to be on your knees right now. You ought to be in your secret place right now. Calling on the name of God. Allowing God to come in. Oh, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost right now. I feel the anointing of the Lord right now. As I continue to praise Him. As I continue to lift Him up. He gonna draw somebody. People of God, it's time for us to come together and get it right. Preachers, stop separating yourself from each other because we're all supposed to be for one thing that's ministering to people to come out of sin into the marvelous light of the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't make any difference what church you go to. Doesn't make any difference what organization you're in. We all got to be saved by the blood of Jesus. Songwriter said, What can wash away my sin? Somebody said, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So it's not about you, it's all about the Lord. But He had made a way. 
that we can have eternal life. But it's left up to you. Holly, I don't understand every crisis we get people want to pray. Why can't we pray before the crisis comes? Amen. Huh? Amen. Why can't we pray before this thing got out of hand? Amen. Now everybody's praying. God got a way to put you on your knees. Amen. Hallelujah. But he wants you to learn something that's very, very important. That every day belongs to the Lord. Amen. Every day. And we need to learn how to give him praise and thank him every day. We truly hope this morning that this word has helped someone. Hallelujah. But ask God for what you need. And the only reason you can't ask is because you don't know him. But when you know God, you can ask him. You can, amen, be assured that God will hear your cry. Stay on your knees. Stay giving God praise and glory. Because when his praises go up, the blessings come down. So every day, every opportunity you have while you sit at home, not on your jobs, not riding around, you can just give God a praise. Just tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Just worship him just for a second. Just, just give him praise. Because it's him that's keeping back the hand of the adversary. It's him that's keeping the devil from destroying you. Just give God your best praise every day that you can. And he'll be right there to help you through. Don't get mad. Don't get upset. But just give God the just praise that he deserves. And we thank God for you today, for our listeners, and just for everyone. Father, in that precious name of Jesus, in that precious name of Jesus, God, we come to you today. Thanking you for your love, your kindness, oh God. Thanking you for the multitudes of your tender mercy. Thanking you, oh God, for this opportunity to call upon your name. Oh God, today we ask you that we look upon the sick. And the afflicted, Lord. Oh God, those, oh God, they have contact the virus, oh Lord. Bless them and touch them right now. But God, we know you got power over all things. All you have to do is speak to the situation. And the problem must flee. Because you said in your word, every knee can bow and every tongue will confess. And we know that you are the great God that you are. Father God, have your mighty way, Lord. Bless, touch, Lord. Bless the doctors, the nurses, the frontline folks, Lord, that are risking their lives to save other lives. Oh, God, protect them right now. The families, Lord, that they will go home, Lord, and everything will be fine, good. God, for we know that you can do anything but fail. God, bless and touch them. Touch our leaders, oh, God. That they will find a way to get through this situation and this problem. And God, I know you will. Because you are all knowing God. You know our tomorrow, but we don't know our today. God, do it right now. And we'll give your name praise. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you.